Hey guys, it's Camkin here, and we are doing um, uh, we're doing a tutorial on how to make custom thumbnails for your videos. Now, what you need to do to start, I'll send the link to this website. It's called Pixar um editor. I'll, I'll send the link and the description below if you want to know how to do this. So basically, what you need to do is click create new image. Name it whatever you want, like, good. And the width has to be uh, 1280, yeah, and then seven, uh, 720, 720. Because that's how much a thumbnail is. So let me just do a preset of... Never mind. And then you have to click transparent. So click A. Okay. Now, what you need to do, you want a background, right? So basically what you gotta do, like, this is one background, it's called sunburst background. Just type that in and uh wh whoops. Type that in in the um, bar and then click images and then and then there's these backgrounds. There's two more, there's the one I did for my Toontown video, the purple nebula background, which is all this. Then last but not least, there's the grunge background, the grunge background, where it's like this. So I'm doing sunburst background. This is for this video. Um, sun burst background, and let's let's. All you have to do is like to put in your background. Click on the image, view image, right click, save image as, and then save. I already have one saved because I tried to do this video before and it didn't work. So what you need to do is click file, open image, and if I'm going too fast, just um pause the video and just yeah like or just slow it down click on the one you want so like this and then do control a and then control c you click x on that and then click no and then co then control v for paste and that's your background like i said there's three other backgrounds if you want to do those backgrounds just yeah so after you do this, you're like, oh, it's just the screen. Hmm, there's nothing on it, so why would I just do this? Well, this is how you get stuff on it. Basically, you go back here, you backspace all of that, or whatever your background is, and, um, oh yeah, before I start, the background needs to be at least, like, the same exact at 1280 or and 720, or a little bit higher. It can't be any lower unless it'll look really weird. So yeah. You can check by um, these things in the bottom every time you hover over something. So yeah. So basically you go here, you have to put transparent and then do whatever you want. Like I'm gonna do um, YouTube logo. I already have this on my computer, I'm just showing you. So basically you pick the one you want, and I'm like, oh yay. <laughs> I'll pick this one because I already have this one. And it has to have that checkered background whenever you click on it. Like you see that? It's, it's kind of faint, but you can see the checkered background. That means that this is transparent. So view image, do it, uh, cl right click on it, save image as, and then let me just do this, mm, save click save you go here and do the same exact thing file open image uh, click on it and then control a control c x no control v and it's like oh that's way too big so this is what you do you click edit free transform and then you can shrink it. Sh 
drink it, whatever you want. This is a little too like squished up, so let me just do that. Put that a little bit more there, and then that. That's good. Then you can turn it around from this too, so like that. That's how you get every single item. Whenever you're done, click yeah, and then yes, and then it should be like that. So that's how you get every item. You get the point. Just do transparent and then whatever you're looking up. Got it? Okay. So now let me just um do more things like file, open image, and you get this click hand. Control A, Control C, exit. No, Control V. Oh, whoops. Then you click this to move things around from here. But then edit free transform if you want to like turn it a little so it can be like that got that okay you can like shrink it I guess like that I'm gonna keep it like that click this yes and you have that hand there so now I need more things so let me just add more things this, I'm just keep on showing you so let me add this cat face here because I can control V uh, control a control C exit no control V edit free transform let me just make it like facing this way and then um yes done and it's pretty simple so uh, I kind of want to duplicate it so you click um, layer and duplicate layer. Whatever you had last, it'll duplicate. So then now I edit, free transform. I just want them to be buddies. Look. Yeah! So I've got these cat faces and so we'll go back here. Then, if you want to make words, click like this button right here and then click anywhere you want the words. You can just move it around after you're done, so. I like it on full size. On like, um. On a, like, a different type of, like, font. I'm trying to find a really cool font. So. What about that? You just. Oh, that, that's a pretty cool font. Uh, I want it to be white. This is how you change color. White. And then... This is for this video, so let me just do this. How to make a custom thumb nail. Okay, white. Okay, and it's like, oh, that. Well, let me move it a little. So it's a little too big, so let me just shrink it down a little. Okay, and then. That. Let me just shrink it down a little bit more. So. It will hit the whole entire screen, but not go out of it. So now, it's like that. So let me just do that. Perfect. Okay. And you want them to stand out, right? So, um, let me just. No. Okay. <laughs> Brain fart there. Basically, what you want to do is to go on edit, why not? Layer, layer, and then layer styles and put drop shadow. And look how, look how good that looks now. So after, and then you can add more things if you want. I'm gonna add one more thing, like file, open image. Oh, uh, where is it? I had it before. Ah, there we go. Control A, Control C, exit. No, Control V. Yeah, okay. Let me go back to drag. Put that in the corner. See, it's a little, it's going into the word, so let me shrink it a little. I edit free transform. There. 
There we go. Glue that, yeah. And then move it around. Perfect. This is how you make a custom thumbnail for whatever video you're making. Hope this, um, I hope this, like, teaches you how to. See you guys all later. Goodbye.